thanks for all the nice comments on my last video. Sadly, YouTube deleted the video already. Inappropriate content. I hope you guys downloaded it. Censorship is getting very bad. I will be careful not to use certain words in this video. So in this video, I will not say this word uh, or this. I'm pretty sure there is a big link between those two, but seems like many people don't want to believe that. If you are one of those people that thinks that every conspiracy theory is just a bunch of bullshit, and you believe the words of your mainstream media and government without doing any research by yourself, I got some good stuff for you today. Let's look into some government documents, maybe you will believe those. They are written by scientists in white coats, so they must be true, right? Let's start with Project Bizarre, which was a part of Project Pandora. In 1962 the CIA discovered that the US Embassy in Moscow was bombarded with electromagnetic radiation. The signal was composed of several frequencies. The Pandora project was intended to investigate and gather data on this Russian experiment. The embassy personnel was not informed of the existence of this beam or of the Pandora project. Because your government doesn't give a shit about you. These are declassified documents of Project Bizarre. It says, The central nervous system of primates has been penetrated directly or indirectly by non-thermal modulated microwave radiation at power density levels from 4 mW down to 1 mW per square centimeter. The tests so far have established that the central nervous system was disrupted directly or indirectly after exposure to low-level non-thermal 4 to 5 mW modulated S-band microwave radiation for periods between 10 and 19 days. So let's see what is S-band microwave radiation. The S-band is part of the electromagnetic spectrum covering frequencies from 2 to 4 GHz. So it's like Wi-Fi. On the next page I found this. The Soviets have reported in the open literature that humans subjected to low-level modulated microwave radiation show adverse clinical and physiological effects. The ARPA test results have demonstrated the feasibility of causing adverse biological effects on the central nervous system of primates. The potential of exerting a degree of control on human behavior by low-level selectively modulated microwave radiation should be investigated for potential weapon applications. Please understand that these documents are from 1967. And if a government hears the word weapon, for sure they will keep researching. This was just the start. So this is pretty good proof from your government that shows us that electromagnetic radiation can harm us in many ways. And this was only the early start of this research. It gets much more interesting when you start using millimeter waves. There is much more, I found many more documents, let me show you some more stuff. This document is called The Invisible Third World War. Electromagnetic Mind Control, the Moscow Signal. Protected by the general public's unwillingness to believe that such things can actually happen, Soviet forces have been beaming invisible microwave radiation at Americans for more than 20 years, mysteriously triggering cancer, heart problems, cataracts and emotional stress. So let me explain a little bit about modulated waves, for those of you who don't understand. According to most of these documents, electromagnetic radiation has little or no effect on humans when it's a static signal. This means sending out a certain signal on a frequency and not changing it. But as soon as you start to change a signal, like in these waveforms for example, it is now a modulated wave. And in my understanding, I could be wrong about this, but all electromagnetic radiation these days are using modulated waves. It is required to be able to send data, and it's happening on more and more frequencies each day. But now we are going to the next level by opening up all frequencies up to 19 kHz. The things you can do with microwaves is pretty insane. The microwave auditory effect, also known as the microwave hearing effect, 
consists of the human perception of audible clicks or even speech induced by pulsed or modulated radio frequencies. That's right, you can record an audio message, transform it into radio frequencies and beam it into someone's head. This has been used by governments around the world to mind control people or to make them go insane. Let's continue with another CIA document. The effects of electromagnetic radiation on biological systems. This is from 1993. At present a significant body of evidence have been collected on the ability of microwave in the millimeter range to bring about biological effects including those on cellular level. It has been found that microwaves can influence the process of gene expression. And if you continue reading the document it will explain that it can even alter your DNA. So uh, is this the reason why we need faster internet? I don't want it. Here is another document from 1977. Morphological, functional and biochemical studies conducted in humans and animals revealed that millimeter waves cause changes in the body manifested in structural alterations in the skin and internal organs, qualitative and quantitative changes of the blood and bone marrow composition and changes of the conditioned reflex activity, tissue respiration, activity of enzymes participating in the process of tissue respiration and nucleic metabolism. The degree of unfavorable effect of millimeter waves depended on the duration of the radiation and individual characteristics of the organism. Man, it's pretty crazy stuff, right? Our governments are telling us that this radiation in the air is safe for us, but at the same time they have these documents that prove it's not. And there are lots of documents, I'm only uh, picking out a few. Uh, let, let's do one more. This is a document about an experiment they did with rats. A modulated electromagnetic field as a factor of selective influence upon the mechanism of goal-orientated behavior in animals. What they did is, they set up a cage where there is food on one side, behind a brass grating floor to which they could apply voltage. The rats could avoid a grated floor by going around it. First they released the rats a few times so that they knew where to find the food. And then they added voltage so that when the rats tried to get directly to the food, they would get shocked. After two or three times, the rats figured out that they needed to go around the grating to get the food. Then they repeated the test while radiating the rats with modulated radio waves. In the first 5 to 20 minutes, the rats experienced a disturbance in the avoidance situation. Meaning they got shocked more and more trying to get to the food. Also the reaction time became significantly lower. When they exposed the rats to the radiation for longer periods of time, they even stopped trying to get to the food. They stopped moving and even stopped swallowing food when it was inserted in their mouth. They didn't die, but they needed 24 days to recover from this. Sounds safe, these modulated radio waves. I think it would be a good idea to put antennas radiating electromagnetic signals all over the place. Not only on a big tower somewhere in your town, but also on street lights, in your car, next to your bed, everywhere. Uh, oh wait, they are doing that right now. Uh, they are hiding it in fake coconut trees, inside of church towers or in so many other sneaky places. So not only do they know where you are, they can also see you in your house now. You can use radio waves to see through walls. I explained it in my previous deleted video. And how awesome is it when your government can beam words into your head? I bet they will be words like Be careful. Eat vegetables. Take your vitamins. Uh, stuff like that. that. That's why the government are doing this. They care so much about us, they want to give us a better life. A new world order and a world full of happy zombies. We will be there soon if we don't start taking action. Uh, anyway, this video is full of government information, so it's very important. Please share it as much as you can, or download it and mirror it, do anything you like with it. I would like to end the video with this short clip. Take care, people. Those who have ears to hear will hear, and those who have eyes to see will see, and those 
with a heart will understand. Now some of you lot know that it's the towers them that's emitting the radiation waves that's making people sick. Well, they're not hiding it from you because it's in plain sight, but people have eyes to see and can't see. Check out your 20 pound note. Tell me, is that not a tower? And those rings around the tower, are those not the emissions from the tower? What is above the tower and those emissions? You can see it there, right there, the tower. There's the tower, and those are the emissions, the rings around it. Yeah, them circles in the hologram. What's above it? 